Now we'll talk about primary health care. According to the Alma Ata International Conference, primary health care is nothing but the people of the community will participate for their own health services. And the services are also provided at the cost which the community can afford. So here the primary health care is essential health care made universally acceptable to the individuals and acceptable to them through their full participation, money through their full participation and then at the cost which the country and the community can afford. So now coming to the elements of PHC. One is education. Prevailing the health problems and methods of prevention and controlling the diseases will be helpful. And food. Promoting the food safety, food supplement and proper nutrition. Water. Again, adequate supply of safe water and sanitization. Maternal and the child health care, including the family planning programs. Immunization. The prevention and the control of locally endemic diseases. And then appropriate treatment for the common diseases and injuries. Provision of essential drugs. So just remember it by our daily life activities. We eat food, we drink water and then we go for schools and colleges for education. So first three points are done. And then after some time we get married. So here comes the maternal and the child health care, including the family planning program. And for the safety of the child, we give immunization. And first we'll prevent the locally endemic diseases. Then we can treat the proper or the common diseases that can happen to the child. We'll give them, we'll give the treatment through the essential drugs. So we'll treat the common diseases through the drugs and also we'll control the locally endemic diseases. So somehow remember these elements of PHC. These are 18 number and these are important. So now coming to the principles of PHC. There are four things. One is equitable distribution. I want you to imagine this PHC as some project. The project is managed by one group leader. And what does he do? He divides the work equally irrespective of their um, status. Right? The health services must be shared equally irrespective of their ability to pay. All must have access to the health services. Either they are rich or poor, they should have access to the health services. It's a basic requirement. So PHCs focus on the rural areas and brings the services as near as the people's home. The previous health services were focused mainly on the urban areas. The hospitals and everything were mainly focused and constructed on the urban areas. It was so hard for the people in the rural areas to even take the basic uh, treatment. So this PHC, the main focus is on the rural areas and it is bringing services as near as the people homes. When if you go for the field visits to the primary healthcare, you can see it is present usually in and around the people's house, right? So that is about equitable distribution, equal distribution of health services to the rich and the poor. Main focus is on the rural areas. Now coming to community participation. So our leader here, he is giving uh, equal distribution of work and also he is asking everyone to participate willingly right so here the involvement of the community for the promotion of their own health and welfare even in the first point we said about primary health care we just mentioned the primary health care is nothing but the involvement of or the participation of people of the community for their own health services at which the services are provided by the affordable cost by the community right so the involvement of the people of the community in the promotion of their own health and welfare so planning and implementation maintenance of the health services so this is about community participation. It's nothing but people of the community participate for their own health services, for their own health and welfare. So village health guides and uh, trained guides approach is successful. Ashas and Anganwadi workers is essential feature of PHCs. It is an important point. See, Ashas and Anganwadis are nothing but the people from their own community, right? So they understand their needs better. So it is an important essential feature of PHCs, inspired by the barefoot doctors in China. So the points you have to write in community participation, one, the people of the community are participating for their own health and services. How are they participating? By planning, implementation, maintenance of the health services. And then the Ashas and Anganwadi workers are the essential feature of PSCs. Ashas and Anganwadi workers are nothing but community participation. The people of their own community are participating like Ashas and Anganwadis. Now coming to intersectorial coordination. What do you mean by intersectorial coordination? Only this primary health center doesn't have everything which is needed, right? So it coordinates with other sectors like agriculture, animal husbandry, food industries, education sector, housing sector, communication and the public work sectors. So one thing, it requires political will to connect everything and also it is an important aspect in the, in the intersectoral coordination is plan, prevent, redoing of same work. So what do you mean by intersectoral coordination? The primary health center is in communication or the coordination with different sectors like animal husbandry, agriculture, food industries, housing, communication, etc. But to perform this, it requires a political will. It's not an easy task. It requires a political will. And the important as aspect in the intersectoral coordination is planning. Coming to appropriate technology. Technology that is scientifically sound, acceptable to the local needs and acceptable by the people who apply it and those for whom it is used. This can be maintained by the people themselves with the principle of self-reliance with the resources community and the country can afford. So what is happening here? It is a technology which is scientifically sound. That means it should be sensible. 
and then it should be easily adaptable to the local needs so what are we focusing here the primary health care focuses on the people in the rural areas so if you bring some technology into them it should be scientifically sound first thing is it should be a sensible thing it should not be just uh, to fool them it should be actually working right that is the first point scientifically sound and second thing the rural area people should get adapted to it adaptation to the local needs and then acceptable by those who apply it that means the people who apply it they should accept it and for those whom it is used we are using the technology to the people who are present there and it should be acceptable by the people who are present there that can be maintained by the people themselves with the principle of self reliance and with the resources community and the country can afford so we do not provide them luxurious things but we provide them the things which are at most important to them and the things which are at most important to them should be scientifically sound the technology which we provide them should be scientifically sound adaptable to the local needs and acceptable by the people there like ors fluids stand pipes socially acceptable and the feasible rather than house to house connections which are um, not feasible this is between basic health services and the vertical health services which were present before primary health care and the primary health care so the end goal is same the attainment of acceptable level of health by the every individual irrespective of their rich or poorness or anything the end goal is same acceptable level of health should be attained by each and every one of them but the things which we are using are different the main difference is the people's participation is seen in case of primary health care whereas in the basic health services or the vertical health services we try to provide health services from door to door we go to the people and provide them but here the people are coming and taking what they need so this is about primary health care i hope you remember so the mnemonic i used i hope it will be useful for you one is uh, the leader thing right so imagine the primary health care is like a project so the lead equally distributes every work so one is equal distribution and second he asks people to come and participate to be a part of his group that is community participation and then intersectoral coordination he coordinates with other group of people he maintains good bonds with every one of them appropriate technology to make those project and uh, everything they use this basic technology which is present and they make the whole project so this is about uh, principles of phc otherwise you can also remember it like east esic college like e stands for equitable distribution es uh, s stands for intersectorial coordination esi and then c stands for community participation and the last one is appropriate technology so it's about primary health center bye